I fucking love how Fifty Cent is like, oh shit, I took I took Bitcoin from my last album. I forgot about that. How much money I got? Millions. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. That was nuts. I, I guess I did it. have money after all. I guess I had it after all. Slash, move all my funds. Into the fucking blockchain <laughs> See, and then pull them out. See, Cent moves successfully from blue collar crime to white collar crime. Hey, mm. third game coming our way soon. Uh-huh. May, no, 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 no. He didn't, he's, we talked about it last week. Okay. He said he wants to. But he's, he's got gonna, ideas. He's got ideas. Because right, right now he wants it to be based on the superhero uh, uh, script. He, 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 he wants wrote. it based on Luke Cage. But which he, he wrote. But he has his own Luke Cage. Yeah, it's not any different. But it's 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 he's on the run from the cops, but he's a superhero. Um because the government experiment on Because the government experiment that's he's super tough. Yep. 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 It's just gonna be a superhero drug. Nah, but he's but he's someone was angry time. they didn't get the cameo in, in Luke Cage and Method Man did. <laughs> Fiddy is no red man. Uh no, no. It's not gonna start the uh the the bullet hole hoodie chain uh, uh trend it, it, this the show would be called bulletproof yes it would you're just like the first right. game well i mean then again or I, it'd be called yeah, bulletproof well, blood on the sand it has a name but i forgot what he said oh, it was because really? yeah Look. like okay we went into the whole thing and like he wrote the script and it has a name and then they're they're actually like bringing it to production or something like that like right. it, it did get picked up um by 50 Cent. What the fuck was it called? Eh, it doesn't matter. It was called 50 Cent's Fun Time Adventure in Here. Dewey Herman Big Land. Here. Mm. It was uh, Tomorrow Today. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. That's that right. Sucks. Right? It's not great. Tomorrow Today, a prisoner gets experimented on to create the perfect human. And he's crime-fighting superhero, but he's on the run from the cops. And it's good. It's yeah. That's gonna be a, the why would screenplay. why would you continually fight crime while you're on the run from the cops? Wouldn't the easiest it's, crime to fight be to turn yourself in? Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, because you. I just mean there's a lot going on because in your you're life a vigilante. Right you believe in justice, but you don't believe in the man and the system. But it's All like right. the Punisher is not on the run from the cops, even though he should be. Only in specific instances. But he is. And so- no, but they don't he has actively hideout. have. No, but he, but he has like he has like uh, fucking hideout like sure. holes, and he has like plight sp- spots around the city that he fucking. The ducks plot into. synopsis of this just makes it seem like I'm literally trying to move from point A to point B to get away from the cops. But along the way, if I see anybody that needs a crime being solved, I'll take the time oh, out. So it's like, what if Littlest Hobo was on yeah. the run from the cops? Littlest Fifty. Littlest Fifty. Yeah, because it's, you got to be a good guy. But also, fuck the police. That's yeah, correct. Yeah. So how do you keep it real, but yeah. keep it right? I hope Littlest Hobo never becomes mined for nostalgia. Uh, not in a does. world with Lassie or Wishbone. Yeah, see? Or... And also, Littlest Hobo is so, like, if you've gone back and watch it, it's, like, painfully Canadian. Yeah. It's, oh, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. intense. Oh, that's that intro song <laughs> is the most Canadian thing in the world. It's, it's if really If you don't know rough. what I'm talking about, keep there's, there's like, whole seasons of that shit up on YouTube. Road. Because nobody well, gives a shit. The CBC is not going to stop you. So, yeah, go watch an yeah. episode of Littlest Hobo. The first episode is like him helping a lady take her medication or some shit. Until tomorrow, I just, just keep, keep moving, moving on. on. <laughs> Until tomorrow, I just keep moving on. Oh, man. On. And there's also that one, that part of it goes, yeah. yeah, that's the start. Yeah, and yeah. Then, then, then he's carrying the sniper rifle in his jaw. Yeah, yeah. And then Aya Brea shoots him, and then he, she, he picks, she picks it up. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Oh fuck! Starring London the dog. London, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, London the God. third. I think there are multiple ones. Oh, there always have to be because the the because the, the show started in the fifties when it was black and white. Animal animal labor laws are like so. Yeah, if you have to have ten dogs. Work. Well, if you if you remade it, would you have to call it like the littlest homeless person? No. Or littlest homeless dog? What do you what do you do with that? Littlest hobo too. Fuck. There was a fucking reboot. No, there wasn't. Uh, there yes, there been. was. No, there wasn't. Because I, rem- I, uh, I, re- I think, never I saw it, but I remember. Research my- live. So I grew up in, nope. in, in the burbs Not south, of, she- of, uh, south of uh, Montreal. And I remember a couple towns over in Leary, which looks just like the they, they fucking... They were shooting a new Littlest Hobo or Lassie or some shit. No way. Was it Lassie? Been. Was it fucking Lassie? There's no way they I brought that shit back. We would have heard about okay, it. Okay, the 80s is the one we know. Yeah. 
No, no. We would have heard okay, about it. Okay, it was Lassie. It was Lassie. Yeah, I fuck got you. No, I no, got no way. God damn it, the son of a bitch. Oh my god, I'm gonna get that. We would have knew. We would have heard. DVD. I want that poster. That's until fucking... tomorrow. I'll just keep moving on. Damn straight, he does. I sh I showed shoot them all. I showed Lilith Topo to Paige, and she is American. She's never seen it, and she's just like, "What the fuck is this Canadian shit?" Yeah, <laughs> it's so. He, he he heads on down to the to the Canadian Tire. He runs by the Depener. Yeah. And he and he then he barks at the and, criminal, and, and the it, criminal drops the gun. And it really feels like. And it's, then the kid kicks the gun away, and then the cops show it up. It feels like it's all being filmed in like West Ontario Come or the Prairies, because everybody's got the the fucking thick yeah. like oh hater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then and then when the kid the cops go hey kid. Who, like, are you okay? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, who did it? It was Little Asopo. It was what? the dog. Where, what, where is he? And then the cops look around, and then he's just walking down the street into the sunset. Off to solve crime. He, doesn't, he doesn't need a reward. He doesn't need a treat. He doesn't crime need a dog. belly rub. So over the series, over that series, like, it went from, like, helping people because somebody's in trouble to lassie stuff. And I remember there were ones like, no, murders were solved. Oh, wow. Like, wow, like, really? I know two specifically where there's a, a shitty roller coaster and a guy's like, nee, 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 nee. that's it. That's the problem. <laughs> there's just a, a shitty roller coaster that might hurt people. Uh... And Hobo just barks until the problem is solved. <laughs> and then the guy that's going, nee, 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 is just getting carried away by the cops. That's all I remember. Okay, here we go. Episode one. Hobo arrives in a small country town hit by a forest fire where he rescues animals from the blaze and befriends the forest ranger. Yeah. A storekeeper selling animal traps and poison to ward off the now homeless animals that's coming near the town. There you go. When a, a child, child eats poison meat. meat left outside the store. Wait, look at the last thunderstorm bit. prevents Ray from bringing the local doctor in comes. by plane. Hobo's parachuted <laughs> into the town with the antidote needed to save the, the child's fucking, life. It's the virtuous mission. That oh, is, oh. Hobo was the first dog to do a halo oh, jump. Dude, the one that I pulled up and saw was called Silent Witness. It's right there. It's when Hobo, uh, when Hobo okay. witnesses a hit and run, he marshals evidence against the driver and forces <laughs> conviction. So you know what that actually entails? They tied him up with, and then Hobo is barking at so, him. No, so what it is is that Hobo sees it and follows the guy, assumingly by his license plate, to his house. And the guy looks out his window and sees, oh, that's that dog from the accident. Oh, and Hobo just follows him around <laughs> all day and barks at him. It follows. And, oh, so and, like and, and he looks and he's like, thing. and it's like a fucking Lady Macbeth thing, but with oh, the dog. Oh. He's like, shut up, shut up. Oh. And like, he eventually just turns himself in because he can't handle oh, it. Um, oh, Hobo, uh, you fucking boss. Search for bomb. Search for bomb. bomb? I know one that was well, a bomb. One of them is like he rescues. Bomb in a locker. He rescues a politician's. So oh, yeah. Hobo finds an undetonated in World, World War, War II, II bomb. bomb. That's that, the only bomb, I guess. That that is that is literally the last episode of season six. That's an eighty. That is the final episode of the show. It doesn't say whether the bomb detonated. Last season, episode fourteen, a mime and a deaf boy help Hobo prevent a robbery. Yeah, they do. A family's trapped on a deserted island. Cold War tensions <laughs> in the early stages of the digital, digital age. age. Oh, I never and Hobo's how there. How does he get to a deserted island? Does Hobo invent the internet? <laughs> Yes. Oh fuck. The where did this hobo? Where did this go in in season six? Oh, it's super weird. Wow. And hobo it, helps a man adjust to life in a wheelchair. Hobo aids a financially troubled church. <laughs> <laughs> Look like, how he like, he like. Do you see how these these synopsis changed from early sale? on? Yeah. Right. There's like here's the the detail with the help of his new friend. He go whatever you know what I mean. It's a full paragraph here, and then by the end, it's a single sentence. Hobo, sh oh, oh, oh! Control F for gun. Control F for gun. Oh, uh, oh, okay, no. no. It could be in the episode, it's just not in the description. What happened in the last episode? He probably he, he there was there, there was probably uh, we're going down this hole, boys. Yeah, there was probably a goddamn. 
uh, undetonated bomb in like a children's playground or some shit. And Hobo looked at a World War II bomb and went, Here we go. Oh no, arf, what, arf. what if the kids blow themselves up with a bomb? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, IMDb. Plot synopsis or plot summary? Hobo discovers a senile veteran who's a custodian of an unexploded bomb. He's able to bring it to the attention of a nearby military base, but the stakes are raised when it's a, when it's discovered that it's near an abandoned munitions dump. Damn. Oh, so the, 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 the bomb would be easily disposed of, but then there's explosives nearby. Go to nearby. the one with the Cold War tensions and that the Cold War will yet be heating up <laughs> because of Littlest Hobo. I forgot that would have aired in 85, right? Yes. Yeah, that's super real. That's super real. Holy shit. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't right, know we what happened. We can't go down this too much. We, we, can't. we should have a Hobo cast, though. <sighs> that's good. I mean, I hear you, but I need to know. I what need to know episode? what happened. Which, the which, final, we're watching it now. The final <laughs> episode of the Littlest Hobo. He finds uh, the bomb. <laughs> okay. And then it's season eighteen, oh, and the, bo and the bomb is right there. It's just in a fucking field. Yeah. And then, then the, the it's there's a munitions dump nearby. Oh, he's biting him. Oh and no. And someone, someone's all bloodied up. <laughs> what happens? Oh that's no, like, they thought that, it was gonna explode. That's like Sergeant Slaughter. That looks like fucking. Uh, astronaut okay the canadian mustache she's like, got going on there like half the shots are all this b footage always of the dog just licking people's faces and whatnot <laughs> yeah. okay but oh, there was a mountie in that last one and they're hanging out in a classroom Where yeah classroom no, okay so it looks like it looks like mountie like, base oh wait hold on no there was a thing so what? like they're at the military oh, base man, there was oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they moved it out into the field so that they could blow it up and he's Maybe. like no get down, get down idiot. idiot oh well, hobo saved him hobo knew that the bomb would explode and in I the love end the dog's just sitting there waiting for his trainer to say do the next thing idiot oh Hobo saved the world. He, well, he saved that guy at least. He saved Canada. So I really want to see like the DVD see if there's any bloopers because there's got to be several instances where the dog is just humping the fuck out of people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, like there's this little boy that's like, no, Hobo. Hobo, I'm blind. How do we get to the, the blind factory? Oh, and like this? <laughs> The, oh, that was wrong. That's where all the blind people go. That's yeah. that's, to work. That's where they, yeah. They, it's next to the hunger factory. If you're American and you, which are many of you, yeah. and or European, and you have no idea what we're talking Good. about. Good. This is a fun fucking old show. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. It, it, you're, it, you're, they're in for a ride. I'm like, I felt no need to stop when, this when I was and a, correct people and going, oh, you don't know what this is. When, Fuck you. When I was a you're going to learn about the Little Tobo today. When I was a little kid, this was one of my favorite shows on TV because it was so good, like, fun. Yeah, I know. It's really like, good. But now as an adult, it's fucking hilarious. It's, oh, <sighs> man. So, I'd always be depressed when it came on as a kid because every time I'd watch it, it would always be kind of like a sad story. Yeah. And since it usually played in the like afternoons on Saturdays, like my cartoon time, like my TV time was done. I usually get pulled away to do chores or whatever. So I'd never see a lot of endings. So no. I, uh, I would just assume that most characters died. I, I always got kind of sad at the end of every episode because it's always like, it's a little, it's hey, a little, little boy, where's your dog? He's like, I don't know. And then it, it, cut, it always cuts to that fucking... Uh, credits yeah because, of hobo wandering because, off because the hobo says to the kids i'm not some prize to be won yeah. basically and like no that's I the problem is thing. he saves the day and then he wanders off and then nobody he wanders off down nobody the knows he, he no. wanders off down the, the the forest next to the 401 <laughs> so that across the Dakari Expressway. Honestly, he's just going between uh, 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 Montreal and Toronto and all those little shitty towns. The hobo, the hobo would have no like. You get here and be like, "Oh wait, this is closed. <laughs> oh wait, this is being constructed on. Oh wait, I can't go there. Oh shit, I'm stuck here." And now. of course, you get shit like ads for a hotel at the end yeah, of the fucking thing. I don't and remember that. The Ramada because Renaissance. They, yeah, because they shot there for that episode, probably. Oh, you know, or that's where and, the like, crew stayed. Are, what other local? Local dealerships are we gonna fucking hook up with today? Exactly, like super duper. Come down to the moose petting farm at Old Joe's. That's where his hobos save the day to this episode. Mm. Oh, oh, and then you see uh, it. You oh. see <laughs> Hobo helps the priests with their drinking problem, and at the end, it's like buy Oka cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy Quati Cook ice cream. Oh fuck. 
Yeah, man. All right. Oh, this good podcast stuff. is for no one so far. That's I don't good. care. I, <laughs> I don't care. Well, it educate. It will be educating to some then. Oh the boy. Very, oh man. All right. So besides the Littlest Hobo reboot 2018, what you got? Don't don't say that out loud. I don't Only, like but it has to be, it has to be the exact same type of dog. It has and to it, be a German Shepherd, and it has to be the exact quality of film. Yeah, it's yeah. gotta be and, shitty and music, like film stock. Yeah, like it has to be old TV broadcast film stock. One hundred percent. Or alternatively, just take a bunch of old episodes of Littlest Hobo and cut them in such a way to make new ones. Well, there's a shit ton of those just shows. Actually, in the never dog. mind. I'm sure I, probably the last season was made like that. Yeah. <laughs> There's always those moments like, uh, London passed, and we have five more episodes to shoot. Get London Sun. Get no, you London get you get two. all the extra footage of him just like dicking around and pissing on crew, yeah. and and then use that to make a new Lewis episode. Tobo goes senile. Alternatively, you could just use, use some form of of shoddy puppet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't end on some sort of like. He goes back and then he find like like there's a little litter following him, you know, mm, some little pups or some sort of like well, no, sires, little no, because littler because hobos because all across how the did, country. Yeah, because that message would be like dark for kids because yeah. it would be like in the episode hobo knocks up a bitch and then has the pups and then he's like I have to go fight crimes, bye. <laughs> It grapples just, away. Just keep moving on. Like, yeah, who, who knows? But you have a family, hobo. I just keep moving like, on. Is, is this the new form of Canadian? Like, I'm going to go out for a pack of smokes. It's like, I <laughs> yeah, have to go out to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to wander the land, yeah. solving crimes and various troubles. Is that what dad's up to? Is that yeah, what your mom is, told you, son? It's not even crimes until a certain point. They're usually mysteries or conundrums. Sure. And then they might turn into crimes later. It's just that, you know, and, and, and or like, again, undetonated bombs, right? But it's it, not you, a crime. No, no. It's just an, it's it's, senile <laughs> idiots, you know. But It's irresponsible. But you just want the stakes to, to, to increase over the seasons, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You well, want to up the ante. It's like just... Just at Littlest s- Hobo brings down the Berlin Wall. The Littlest Hobo at Parliament barking down at the, you know, the, the, the opposition. Roof, roof. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that was good. Squares are trying to stop weed from getting legalized. Luckily, Littlest Hobo is there to deliver the reefer to all the kids. Yeah. And shoot the opponents. <laughs> <laughs> just like this German uh, Shepherd dropping off, like, weed in front of children. Little baggies. Little, just, little yeah. baggies. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wagging his tail, you know. Or he has like a plate of cookies. Oh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. We're gonna start our weeks now. Yeah, all right. I guess so. There was no. There's never any like rival Doberman or anything. No, was hell there? No. no there, right? Was there a Virgil? No, no. I don't think there uh, was. that. I cannot even remember another animal other than like bird. No, well, there was the. No, there was the, the, the... In when the episode list went by, I saw like there was a there was yeah, another yeah, yeah. there was another German Shepherd that was mentioned. Oh. But like, like there, just for that. Episode. Usually, other animals as you know, he'll like do his part and save them from trouble in like that first episode and stuff. But yeah, like there's no buddy. Second dog nah. that no, was man, like because even cool. if there was like oh the, the, it's always like the crossover temporary team up or at the end of the episode Warrior King has to go back to his home planet. Okay, okay, so so Michael Vick puts somebody down and we get Wishbone, Lassie, and Hobo in the ring. What happened? Well, Lassie. Lassie, Lassie does, does more physical things. Lassie pushes people, but I don't think I've ever seen Lassie bite anyone. Yeah. That and being said, Wishbone... Can... Wishbone can jump. And what about Clifford? Right. Well, hold on, hold Clifford. on. Clifford. He's not real. Do you remember... So... Do you remember when... But Wishbone <laughs> is. Hold on. He is. Hold on. He's a real dog. Okay. Remember when Wishbone He's on uh, starred in the Odyssey? I remember... No, I don't, but I remember him from Frasier. Okay, so... No, that's a different dog. That's a different dog? Yeah. Are you sure? Are you are you fucking for real? You think the children's dog Wishbone from the TV series Wishbone was also the exact same dog that hung out with Fraser's dad? I thought it's it was the same a famous dog. It it's the same dog. kind of dog. I thought, it was, fam- I thought it was. I thought it was a famous dog. No, man. That's too famous. The dog can't have two roles. No, Wishbone the dog had a children's TV show with the okay, history. Okay, 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 okay. So uh, you have you have Lassie, you have Wishbone. You have Little Hobo. No, 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 no. You have Rin Tin Tin Canine Cop. 
Okay. All in the ring. So what about the dogs from movies like Canine and all that? Well, I'm just going, well, here's I'm going with the TV shows here's right Here's the now. deal. You know, when, we're trying, when to create, trying to create a thorough, was, thorough line. When Wishbone was in the Odyssey, he was able to recreate uh, Odysseus's fucking feat of shooting an arrow through 13 axe heads. Okay. And they mm. had that little shot of the tiny dog pulling the bow back with like the puppet shit. So, so Wishbone, that so, means Wishbone can use weapons. Yeah, Wishbone. So Wishbone is actually uh, the smallest and weakest, but he can use weapons, and more importantly, he can talk. Yeah, Wishbone has the voice of a human being. That wouldn't result in much in a battle. Yeah, no, but, but maybe yeah, he can freak Vic out. He, real he can bad, probably man. like command and bark, shout things at them, and yeah. then say things in in English that sound maybe. human he can, and freak he them can, out. He can make it a confusing. All right, match I got sure. one that. Well, okay. The question is: Is the is do we want to landslide this by adding Clifford? I, I'm I, keep, said, I, kept, I, I, I said real. Okay. Okay. Real yeah, yeah, yeah. life. Yeah, these real, real life, life dogs that lived. Live action. Okay. Live action dogs. I'm keeping it live. We need to have a thorough line here. Okay. We need to have a, a, a rule to follow. So no Scooby Doo's or Marmadukes. The, because fuck it. Why, why would you go to There Clifford? was a real. Like, but, but, but if you're gonna, Great be, Danes are real dogs. If you want to add to the list, you'd probably add Beethoven yeah, or fucking have... Airbud, right? Oh, oh Airbud would crush that shit. But, but oh, I, wait, no. Russell Mania would win. But that's the problem is now we're going into the movies. I'm uh, trying, I'm, I was trying to keep it with the long time multi-storied yeah. dogs that have a past and a track record sure. not these one two movie bullshit fucking dogs what about cujo oh that's a movie he's it's saying well, it's a book even first yeah but he's saying just yeah. tv shows yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. long lasting tv shows. i think cujo would win beethoven yeah. did have a tv show technically. <laughs> i think cujo's got a good shot yeah uh, he did some winning in his, in his yeah book. rin tin tin is a canine cop rin tin tin would rip some motherfuckers apart Probably had the size advantage of, of, of the, uh, that set. Keep it going in the bathroom. Okay, well. Keep it going. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I feel like you were getting warmed up. I feel, I feel like he would totally take it. Uh, what kind of dog was Cujo? Cujo's a St. Bernard with rabies. Okay. Really? <laughs> Oh, you're not familiar. With I'm Cujo? not familiar with Cujo. So, so Cujo is is uh the is a Stephen King novel, and much like uh, Gerald's game, it is it, it extremely small scope, and it is a mom and her kid get trapped in a car by a Saint Bernard with rabies that attacks people. Oh, okay, okay, that's a bad one. Um, fuck, I need Matt to be here because there's. There's now you can start getting into a couple of different places, right? Yeah. You can get because uh, you know your you know your 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 uh, um, giant fucking body bodybuilder beef dog. Yeah, you know, those those weird mutants. The ridiculous like something's wrong with the glands in your body, yeah. and you're producing. I wish I had that that malfunction and was just a human muscle. <laughs> but it's like it's like to the point of being like not functional. Like yeah. those dogs yeah. look like they look. <laughs> They look like they live like sad lives almost, you know. Okay, um, crossover battles, doggo dog wars. Yeah, we need we need a full roster here. Okay. I'd say I'd say I'm th there are many many good and bad dogs. That you Live can action w uh, underdog. Remember that? That's a recent thing. Underdog just had a movie. He came back. I don't know. Who underdog. Is. I, uh, I, I, yeah, that totally no. bounced he, off my brain right he's, now. He's, he's, he's a superhero underdog. It's it's got the fucking you. I bet you you know the cartoon version, or you have at it's least possible. seen him. And underdog was um, to me at least it was that that song they sang on Scrubs that one time. But no, can we get the fucking wolf from Gerald's game in here? If we can get Cujo in there, you familiar with that one? Uh, Boy. the hold on a second, underdog movie. That could be anything. Underdog. I was, don't know who that is. That's that's the new the new the new live action the dog. WrestleMania though. And then and then there was he was based on the cartoon because there was the cartoon underdog uh -huh. uh, that was this I this guy. I, I, yeah. I don't know what that is. I remember oh, you, the cartoon Wonder Dog. I do not remember the movie Wonder Dog. Underdog. Whatever. <laughs> He's a Wonder Dog. Yeah, he is. So. Underdog. Okay, okay. Matt, you yeah. know who – I was waiting for you to come back because yeah, yeah. I think you will agree with me. Also, he's wearing a My Hero Academia uniform, <laughs> basically. Oh, wow, but, yeah. But that's besides the point. Don't worry about that. Um, I think you will agree with me in the dog that absolutely crushes the competition, the Shao Kahn of this tournament, mm -hmm. is the dog from Don't Breathe. 
Yeah. He doesn't get a lot of screen time. But, but he when he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that dog gets kind of, you think, defeated, but not. You remember the shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the shot. <gasps> I, I, I didn't watch Don't Breathe, but I just thought of another Really good one. I think That's a pimp ass beast think, dog. I think Cujo would beat that dog though. Really? Uh, okay. I, I don't right. know Cujo. I I have the real winner of this tournament from another Canadian TV series that is live action, and that is Deefen Baker, the deaf wolf dog from Due South. <sighs> Named yeah, after a prime South. minister. Yeah. Did didn't he he hung out with um with with Dean Kane, right? No. No. Due South. Do South with the the Mountie. Dean the... Dean Kane? No. No. Wasn't they? I Paul Gross. Dean, Paul Gross. Damn. I thought that was Dean Kane for years. No. They look nothing, nothing alike. alike. Wow. <laughs> I thought the Do South Mountie TV show was was Dean Kane in it. I no. wow. No, okay. that was Adventures of Lois and Clark. Yeah, I know, but I thought his. Okay, all right. Yes, Do South Mountie show. Fuck this underdog. No, you movie. don't understand. the The dog is deaf. Well, how does he learn commands? Oh, I taught him to read lips. You did what, Frazier? <laughs> you taught your wolf dog to read fucking lips? That's pretty that's pretty badass. And then he throws them the gun. It's a very mounty thing. Do you do. remember do you remember the sand lot? Yeah, vaguely. There's a, there's, a, there's a dog in that. Though. The the other side of the fence, there yeah, was this yeah, yeah. beast of a terrifying that was, dog that was and always, it would shake yeah. the screen when it barked. It was always portrayed from the kid's perspective, so it was like a hundred feet was tall. Scary. It was like a monster. A, it was like an elephant dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So like the mo the version of the dog, not from reality, but from the child's mind, yeah. is probably also at the top of that list. I'd say. Oh man.